Well, the information we have is about 3.30 this morning, an adult male showed up at a hospital suffering from significant wounds. It's believed that these were stab wounds, but we're still waiting to hear that from the hospital. Uh, he underwent surgery, and his condition is still very serious, and he's heavily sedated, so we haven't had an opportunity to speak with him yet. Uh, investigations led us back to a residence in Riverbend that we're convinced is associated to this person. We're not sure if it's his residence or somebody that he knows, but he is associated to this residence. How we got to the hospital, we're not sure. Uh, somebody gave him a ride, obviously, we just don't know who, and we don't know the motive for this incident. So we're hoping the public can come forward with some details for us. Uh, like I say, very seriously injured. We have one adult male that was in the area of the residence in Riverbend that we're currently speaking with, but his involvement, if any, is unknown at this time. Is it possible that this could have been uh, self-inflicted, or is it pretty sure that this is a... Uh, well, I, 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 I can't say for sure, but certainly we don't believe that it's self-inflicted, but at right now, we don't have an offender, uh, we don't have a weapon, um, we just know that we have a victim that's very seriously injured. Do you even have a scene at this point? Or? Well, uh, there is some evidence at the residence in Riverbend that may be the scene. So, uh, you know, it's early in the investigation. Hopefully all these questions will be answered soon. Do you know that the questions are answered through the victim or through the person who's in custody? Or well, well, both, yeah. And maybe there's some people out there that have some information that they can provide to Crime Stoppers or to the Calgary Police Service. Is the suspect being cooperative at this point? Well, he's not a suspect. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we have him for questioning. I don't have any information on that, but uh, like I say, I don't know what his involvement is, if any, simply that he was in the area, and it's 4 o'clock in the morning, so. The investigators have been able to speak with him, though? They, my understanding is they are speaking with him right now, so. Do we know anything more about the weapon? What kind of weapon was used in there? No, I guess it said on the air some weapon, but I haven't verified what the weapon was, just that it seems most likely that there's stab wounds that the victim is suffering from. possible there is some evidence there uh, so that may be the scene or it may be a secondary scene we haven't uh, confirmed that yet okay. just that there's some linkage between the victim and yes the yes there is uh, do you have an age on him all I have is adult male sorry I can't be more specific than that but um, I presume you're looking for the normal things from the public anybody may have seen something about absolutely I mean it is a residential area but it's also I don't know, sometime before 3.30 in the morning when he may have been at this residence. So if somebody heard something, a commotion, altercation, perhaps, certainly appreciate a call. And the residence in Riverbend, is that place known to the police? Is it I don't have that information, but I would think if it was, they probably would have told me. So I uh, can't confirm at this time or deny. But Is the, uh, the victim um, and the, the person that you're speaking with, do they know each other? Good question. I don't have that information. You don't feel like this is a, a random attack or anything? No, it, uh, we have no, we just don't have the facts. But at this time, we don't believe that it's a random attack. Oh, I'm sorry. his condition in hospital? Well, it's serious. I don't know. I, we haven't, I haven't got an update since he came out of surgery, but he's heavily sedated. So my understanding is that he's going to make it. Uh, so hopefully he's been downgraded or upgraded from life-threatening to serious. And I'm sorry, I think I missed something. Is there, are there two people then? We've got one person. Who's just, just one person just we're one speaking person, with. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, Southeast Hospital, is, does that make sense? We don't, we well? don't give out the hospital that, oh. that they're taken to, just a course of business. But uh, he was taken to a hospital, so. Taken or you said he showed up to, on his own accord yeah. at a hospital? No, he didn't show up on his own accord. I don't know if I said that. If I did, I misspoke. But the information we have is that somebody dropped him off at the hospital. And... Um, I would expect that they're looking at surveillance video, but I haven't got any confirmation or we haven't been asked to locate a vehicle or anything like that. So, 